My best friend and I have played Mad Libs since we were kids, and we often play them together as adults on road trips. We're always looking for ways to make them even more interesting and funny, and now that AI art has arrived on the scene, it was a perfect match. So here's how this works. We send each other the words for a Mad Lib. We then enter those words into our Mad Libs, and we run each sentence through mid-journey to create art to go along with it. Then, we get together, share what we created, and hilarity ensues. <laughs> Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please come in, make yourself at home. My name is Patty Cake. I normally play games, but this is the beginning of a brand new series. I would like to introduce you to my collaborator and best friend and co-host. This is Tiger. Everyone, Tiger, say hello to everyone out there in the entire world. Hey, I'm also Brent, but <laughs> for this purpose, I'm Tiger. All right, so uh, this is basically a new thing. We've done Mad Libs forever. Uh, that's been kind of one of the things that kind of brought us together when we became friends. But uh, since this is a new thing, I'm going to let him describe it since this was his idea, and I think it's brilliant. So take it away, Tiger. You probably heard of some of the different AI um, art generators, and... Uh, I had gotten turned on to one of them by one of my friends. And so I'm playing with all these random things. And so I sent Patrick a text and I'm like, I have an idea. I'm like, what if we give each other our Mad Lib words like we do all the time, except for not necessarily in person. And then we create AI art based on the sentences or phrases that we get. And then we present them to each other on YouTube. And he's like, I love it. <laughs> I, I can't believe I hadn't thought of it. I mean, that's one of those things. We're talking like, Two weeks ago, even. Right. I mean, yeah. This is this was at Christmas. You told me about this at Christmas dinner, and that's when okay. I was like, "Yes, let's do this. Let's do this like right away." So now it's just after the new year. It's like January second, and we're recording the first video. So this is super exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're not gonna talk about it anymore. But before we start, look down below the video. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. Click the like button if you like the video, and click the notification bell. This channel is already starting to grow because now I have three videos coming out a week. So excellent. All right. So we're gonna start with uh, with Tiger's Mad Lib, uh, which is apparently titled "The Life of the Party." In D and D, a group of characters is called. A sleeping party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. They've got their drinks. They've got I don't know what she was <laughs> right. Over I mean, there. I mean, they they have everything that they need to have a good time, and they're just they're just not doing it. They're just decided. I mean, they're pooped. I mean, I've been pooped after a long adventure, haven't you? <laughs> I don't, I don't really. know. Yeah. And okay. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> while there are no weird and fast rules about this, to have a broadly rounded party, you need. 76 things. 76 things. So and apparently 76, those 76 things are tea. <laughs> yeah. Or different types of food, maybe. I mean, why do they have a gigantic hamburger? That's a really strange thing to have at a party. Whatever this this it looks like a brain jello mold, or maybe or it's yeah. a ball of yarn. A ball of yarn. It's a ball oh, of over yarn. there. The hair the hair pie. Or, oh, uh, I mean the oh, hair. Please don't say bread. Let's not do that. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, mom. <laughs> and okay. then this cake, cut, but I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. So, that's strange. This, they cut it very what? weirdly, too. They left, like, the corner of it off to the side, and they cut everything else away. Who cuts a cake like that? It gives me such anxiety. There's lots of crackers. Yeah, um, all over the place. Gumball. And a bunch of nerds, <laughs> which is perfect for D&D. And let's not yeah. look at the person on the couch that looks like they're made out of three people. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I do like so, the fact that the the animal oh, is coming out of the painting. That's very cool, though. And uh, here's another animal. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing you need in your party is a tank. <laughs> These characters can strangely endure lots of doorknobs from bad guys. Um, okay. I have no I don't idea really how a many cat got in there. Here. No, but what what put the cat in there? Like, why is there a cat know. in the tank? <laughs> it doesn't make any so, sense. And I like that, I created that, several of these. And Two or three of the tanks actually have either people or animals adjacent to them. It generated the uh, the color correctly. It makes me think of like tank. Well, I mean, it's obviously a tank. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> so these these characters, um, they have naked health. Oh. Okay. And keep the more fragile wieners in the party safe. <laughs> uh, and that is the AI none of that. None of that. Uh huh. 
the you know the congressman who showed off his wiener on Twitter. Right, right, right. And then this picture. <laughs> 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 that's that's weird it's it's uh, in the kitchen there uh, we'll leave that one alone you can surmise what you need to um, right. you also need a damager um, okay. with spells daggers or crickets Ooh. these characters hit angrily and literally I could not find a cricket anywhere but this guy seems to pretend to be a cricket he's like a little antenna going on his head oh I didn't notice the antenna I did notice the big ears it's very I mean so I mean honestly if somebody handed me that and said this is the character you're playing in this game I'd be like oh are you serious this is awesome <laughs> I this I is mean, what I get to play is emanating electricity right and, got the glowing I mean, eyes and breath. everything I mean he's not his... terrifying I mean he is terrifying he's not funny but he is terrifying yeah. for sure yeah um now the only problem with damagers though um they can be as creamy as glass Okay. So, so explode them from harm. <laughs> that's that's weird. It's so weird. Uh. Since when is glass creamy? But apparently yeah. these guys have figured out a way to make glass creamy. Yeah. And you also have a glass of 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 cream, uh, probably strawberry milk. Oh yeah, maybe. But it's also it evokes exploding also. You know, because it's, yeah. it's exploding. It's exploding everywhere. And, and the eyes make it so unnerving to me. Like, why does it have eyes? <laughs> why does glass... Well, why does... It, I mean, nothing... If you're unnerved by eyes, wait till we get to the healer. Because oh, oh. the healer is the literal eyeball of the party. Oh, my God. <laughs> Healers keep everyone alive <laughs> and upside down. And apparently terrified right no i see just i see that and i'm thinking this is this is what's healing me okay is i mean it's not quite a beholder no maybe it is but it's attached to the ground it's like a plant it's weird <laughs> it's really weird and it's, it's giant really oh my look at the person in front of it it's ginormous <laughs> nobody it doesn't need to heal us because no one's gonna get near <laughs> us right it's just gonna terrify <laughs> them all these are just guidelines if you want to roll, um, spin a party of all rogues, go for it. <laughs> That's quite the party. It looks like DC villains when they were kids. <laughs> it, it, yeah, there's a little bit of Joker and is that man bat? Yeah, and, a little bit. And a little Harley Quinn oh, up on the this, table. This little child over here. <laughs> but since you have a party of non-healing rogues, because, you know, they're not going to heal you. Right. Um, just make sure that you bring along some healing daisies with you if you do oh healing daisies oh that's cute actually i love that little planter <laughs> and finally when you're building your party though the ghost is your oyster <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a ghost oyster oh my god <laughs> also a little amazing with a a, a, a lace oh veil. i do see the lace veil now that you mention it Oh, interesting. Um, but it, but it, it it does incorporate oysters. I'm looking for the pearl. Um, uh, I don't see any pearl. I don't see any pearl. It's quite beautiful. But it, yeah, that's pretty impressive. So now I do have a few uh, dishonorable mentions. <laughs> <laughs> and they are. This is another sleeping party. Um, this looks like something out of, out of Shakespeare to me, like uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can see that. It's because they all fell asleep and they turned one into a donkey head, and yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. So, um, then we've got the other um, <laughs> horrid, horrid creature at the party. Um, <laughs> they, seem, they seem they seem far less concerned about this than I would be in this situation. <laughs> I know somebody's actually looking at their phone. There, many of them right. are looking at their phone. <laughs> yeah, and so then we go on to what do we have next? Um, oh yes, this is one of the the tanks who um, endures lots of doorknob. <laughs> um, this is the 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 damager, or no, this is the one who's supposed to keep the fragile wieners in the party safe. And I feel like that this wiener has not been kept safe. No, no, not at all. It's it's unfortunately um, become its namesake. It appears poor thing and then this is um some of oh, that creamy glass creamy glass yeah why are the all pikachus showering together that's weird 
<laughs> They're super cute. <laughs> Sorry. And then there's that road party. Oh my again. god, they totally look like DC villains. Like immediately it popped in my head. It's like, oh, DC villains in like a medieval setting. <laughs> we get another oyster. <laughs> I gotta leave you with a nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's like, yeah. and um, that's the end of that. Okay, so it's time to look at Patty Cake's story. I don't know what this one's about at uh -huh. all. Let me tell you. My Mad Lib this week is called May I Have Your Daughter's Hand? That is a terrifying, like, I feel like if this was Wednesday, someone may ask that, and then they would just literally chop her hand off. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, dear Mr. and Mrs. Ozarka Carabiner. <laughs> I just love that it has a Carabiner. <laughs> and it has a Mr. and Mrs. Oh, wow. It's epic. Um, will you let me camp your hammock chair? Okay, so first of, all, wrong. first of all, I would like to point out that this looks like the most comfortable hammock I have ever seen, and I would love to crawl in there and just kind of take a nap, but maybe not I'm, while it's over an open flame, <laughs> right? Yes. Because, <laughs> oh my God. And you know what? Almost every single picture I did for this had a hammock and a campfire in some way. Uh, this I feel was like the, we need to make this hammock. Right? It's beautiful. This would sell. Uh, but uh, <laughs> this is the only one that had it directly over the fire, and so that's why it was chosen, because, come on. Um, ever since I have laid mammary glands on Kitty. <laughs> okay, this is the first oh my god moment. <laughs> Oh, why are they smiling at each other? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I was just thinking they look like testicles. <laughs> oh, why is Kitty? I mean, Kitty's had like six or eight, not two really large ones. Right. So, so keep in mind that mammary oh. is a banned word. So I had to use chest glands. <laughs> this is what he gave me. Well, that's a very literal way of saying it. This cat is not happy. No, I can it, tell. It does I know not look cat happy. Is not a happy cat face. Okay. Um, so ever since I have laid mammary glands on Kitty, I have gazed madly in love with her. So uh, this, all this gave me was very softly focused female faces gazing longingly. That's all it gave me. But I chose this one because it looked like your character. <laughs> it does look, look a little bit like her. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Kitty and not the other thing. Oh, I don't know. I guess. Although okay. this could be you because it says you were gazed, get you that you gazed madly in love with her. Oh, so, 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 yeah. Anyway, um, I have gazed madly in love with. So you gazed madly in love with her. Uh, I wish for her to be the oak tree of my embers. I love oh. this so much. I want this as a wooden cutout piece of art with a light behind it. I think it would be beautiful. It looks a lot like the Tree of Life tattoos I was coming up with. It's gorgeous. So this, ev I had a hard time picking one from this one because everything it gave me was really beautiful. One of the honorable mentions is from this. Uh, and it almost made it, but there was one little aspect of it that I didn't like, so I chose this one instead. So we wish for her to be the oak tree of my embers, and that someday we will climb happily ever after. So this is what climbing happily ever after looks like, according to Mid Journey. Um, in, in, in my life, that's called nightmare fuel right exactly. there. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why this is the one I chose. So I if, I if, if, cool. the, if the man or woman of my dreams was up there, I would stay at the bottom and wave at them and say, <laughs> I'm going to find someone new. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so someday you will climb happily ever after. I have a garter snake as a garbage collector. Okay. So first I've of all, first of all, that is, and that is not, not a garter, garter snake. snake. <laughs> that is 
frightening right there. So if I ever went to my uh, my mailbox and that was or my garbage can and that was there, yeah, uh, not oh, dealing with that. He ate Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it pays two dozen dollars each month. Got to say, Benet eternally. San at at pat a. I think it's more Gaelic. <laughs> yeah. The next line, I was absolutely terrified to put through Mid Journey to find out what it would do. So the next line is, I promise to cook Kitty with kindness and respect. But it's okay, because this is what it gave me. <laughs> oh. I don't want to eat what it's cooking, though. It looks really gross. <laughs> it, it could be a bun. A little lumpy bun. It doesn't look good. It looks it looks scary. But also the look on the cat's face tells me that I should not eat the food that he's handing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if somebody brought you food and had that look on their face, would you want to eat that food? This is my first honorable mention. This is uh, this is from the, the, the embers of the oak tree. The thing that I didn't like, which is why this one didn't win, is if it didn't have those two circles on either side of her head, this would have been the winning one. It does look like her eyes are long. Yeah, it was a little... Yeah. Uh, but I just love how she's wreathed in flames and it's coming up above her head, like from it flows up her back and up her hair. I just love that. I thought it was really pretty. Yeah, I like it. Okay, next okay. honorable mention. This is from the, the climbing no. happily ever after. That is not a happily ever after for anyone. <laughs> Except for those Russian people who like to climb on top of buildings. Well, the other thing that's kind of weird is like the one that's at the top, it looks like she's sitting in a chair piloting an invisible aircraft. <laughs> Her hands are out like she's holding onto a wheel or something. Do you but know what she... this looks like? What? Remember in the back page of Mad Magazine, and you would have to fold the along the lines. Yes, I do remember that. That's what it looks like. Like you would have to fold this, and it would come up with a perfectly normal picture. That, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that is. It does remind me of that now that you mention it. And this is the uh, the <laughs> the the garbage collector. The Garter Snake Gollage Garbage Collector, although I, I, it's like, it looks like it's like the head of a snake, but almost looks like it's an arm that's hanging out of the can, but then it's not. It's got a gecko head. It's like a gecko with tentacles? And whiskers. It has whiskers. Why does it have whiskers? Oh, no. <laughs> Stay away from that garbage can. Uh, that's in Chernobyl. Right? Or Pripyat. Whatever. Yeah, definitely not. Not going there. Yeah. So I mean, that even was... look at the garbage. It, 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 it has like a hazard symbol on it. It's like stay away from this creature. Right. Exactly. So this we is should. Not best we, should we should stay away. We should not. We should not even look at this anymore. It's it's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, adult. That will be. That's that's my my mad lib. All right, that is going to do it for our very first episode of Mid Journey Mad Libs. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed making it. Uh, we're going to be releasing these twice a week, so stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you click the like and subscribe buttons, and make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss these because these are new. Uh, yeah. And thank you for coming up with this idea. This is so much fun to work on this with you. I'm excited, and I can't wait to see your uh, finished product. We're going to see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Like and describe. No. Like and subside. Uh-uh. Like and prescribe. No. Like and subscribe. Yeah.